Hello, my dear friends of electronics. My name is Lauren Völkel, and today we are here in the ESD laboratory, and I invite our lovely colleague Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. And we will talk about infrared LEDs. Sarah, I know infrared LEDs from daily use, like remote control, from, from um, cameras, the, 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 the lights which making that, but where are other infrared LEDs used? Mm. So we have so many infrared applications. Like, yeah, when you go daily to the supermarket, you have automatic open doors. So right. every automatic open doors has the infrared LEDs inside. Also, the fitness tracking um, oh, right. Correct. variables, Correct. yes, uh, which measure your heart rate. It's also, uh, it also works with the infrared LED. And when you go to the airport and go to the toilet, you have hand dryer and right. all the disinfection stuff, so this also works with these LEDs and of course in our automated warehouse where you can count stuff like packets and like this, so right, there are right. so many applications but we, we don't aware of this and we, have this in, we don't have this in our mind because we cannot see the light and infrared light has wavelengths higher than 780 nanometers and this is what the uh, right. eye can, cannot see. But I know something magic and I can show you uh, something funny how to make infrared LED uh, to see if it's there or not. Really? Show me. <laughs> For this I prepare here a small remote control, okay. yeah, infrared remote control. And if you open the camera from your mobile phone and you hold on the camera, mm -hmm. you can see the LED light is oh, blinking. Really? Yes. So this is a easy way to check if your remote control battery are okay or your infrared LED not working. So this you can try with your camera. This is really nice. As we can see in the, um, at the remote control, the data is transmitted with invisible yes. light and for the data transmission, the switching times are really important. Yeah. So what you did uh, build up here, this uh, measurement setup? Yeah, we have here a measurement setup which can measure the switching time of infrared LEDs. We have here an oscilloscope, we have here a pulse generator, a step attenuator and an amplifier who amplifies the signal. We have here an uh, avalanche photodiode, which received the light in picoseconds and it's really fast. And opposite the photodiode, we have our infrared LED, mm -hmm. which we measure the um, switching times of it. Do you have an infrared LED? Yes, we have, um, this looks like this. We okay. have here a PCB and in this mm -hmm. case, a high power LED is mounted by, we have a lot of different packages. We can see it also in our design kit and the customer has also the opportunity to use our infrared LEDs and okay. also yeah. just some switching times. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's switch on and see what is the rise time and how, how fast it works. Yes. I made all the setups in advance, but now I can uh, turn on the pulse generator and we can see here two signals. Mm -hmm. The yellow curve is the signal from our infrared LED. Mm -hmm. And the second curve, the uh, green one, is the signal of our avalanche photodiode, which, which received the light. Right. And what we can see, um, I can put it off. Um, the signal of the switching times is measured by 10 to 90 percent, because the signal is then we have a really good value in this range. Okay. And when we turn on the LED and the uh, Avalanche photodiode signal, we can see here our switching times. Mm -hmm. They are around seven nanometers, so this means. Nanoseconds. Uh, nan nanoseconds, sorry. Um, so this means we, when we have a um, switching time of one nanosecond, it's around one gigahertz. And we have here around 10, 10 nanoseconds, so this means we have a frequency of around 100 um, megahertz. Yeah, that's right. So this Very is really nice. fast. Okay, so this is extremely fast. I was yes. not aware about that. So thank you so much for this explanation. So I hope you learned something about infrared LEDs and you enjoy it. Please watch my next videos. Bye-bye.